very quickly, um, I'm going to invite a brother now. He's a coach. I understand that so many of us are sent in questions, and um, I'm sure that within the few minutes he's going to speak to us, he's going to address your questions, and then you're going to get answers one way or another. Um, very quickly, within three to five minutes, please join me as I welcome Coach Emmanuel Olatunji. <laughs> Celebrate Jesus. Very quickly, he's going to just take us through it, and then I'm sure you're going to get answers to the questions on your heart. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, mommy. Good afternoon, daddy. Wow. Um, I want to appreciate you. Thank you for the privilege of gracing your platform. It's really an honor to be here. And I also acknowledge the presence of our wonderful ministers. Wow. <laughs> I know I was, going to give, I was going to be given the opportunity to speak today. But trust me, I, I'm already filled. And I was like, there's no need for me to come up here. But... I really want to thank our daddy and mommy that they still insist that I should be here. And honestly, I honestly don't know what to say, sincerely. <laughs> when I was approached that I will be coming here and I have five minutes just to speak, I was not like, ah, there's no need anymore. I mean, my brother, my wonderful brother, <laughs> brother Joshua has spoken, mommy has spoken, daddy has spoken, so what do I have to say? But right there and then, the Holy Spirit just ministered to me that I should share one thing, and it brought a scripture into my heart, and I'm going to read that scripture, and I may not even use up to five minutes to share what I want to share with you. And that is in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 12. It says, All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. This scripture is so profound that in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 23, it's also there. And it says, all things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but all things edify not. Today we are celebrating sexual purity. It's on that day. And one thing that I have observed based on my experience as a coach, as a writer, and also as a child of God, as a Christian. You know, we have this courage sometimes that, well, I'm a child of God, yes. I know I cannot do anything that you know, is sinful and all of that. But I tell you, if you visit questionable places, if you mingle with friends that you are not supposed to mingle with, I want to tell you that it is easier to drag someone down than to pull somebody up. And to just wrap up whatever I want to share with you today, I remember I have is a younger sister. She's late now. Not a blood sister anyway. Some of those sisters in the gospel. And she said to me before I got married that you, your life is just so boring. Like you don't have friends. You don't, you don't go out. Your life is too hard. My life is boring because I'm that kind of a boring person. You know, maybe you regard me as too principled and all of that. Even those following me on the social media, they're like, ah, this guy will be so tough. You know, I always shock people whenever they approach me and they see how convivial I am, how friendly I am. So this young lady said to me then that, ah, you are so tough. You are not this and that. Why? Because I discipline myself. Because you will not see me with people that I will not like to be associated with. You will not see me in questionable places. By the special grace of God, yes, I don't have all the money now. But sincerely, if I want to, like, maybe visit nightclubs now, I can afford them. But you will never see me there. You will never see me there. So I want to employ us by the mercies of God. We've been prayed for. We've come out. We've confessed, you know. So many things have gone on right now, spiritually, that you may not even understand the impact of it. But I want to plead with you. Be mindful of your conversations. Be mindful of your network. Be mindful of where you go, who you speak to. All right? Because we, sometimes we don't want to fall into sin. We don't want to fall into sexual temptations and all of that. But when you, you know, maybe 
like that day I said, maybe you're already in courtship with somebody and you visit a place whereby nobody will see both of you. I tell you, <laughs> it is your soul that has been saved. This flesh has not yet been redeemed. This flesh is weak. All right? So don't put yourself in places that will make you to be in a compromising situation. And that is just what I want to share with you today. And I want to believe the Holy Spirit will spawn this word in your heart. And by the special grace of God, if Jesus is going to come today, tomorrow, or maybe many years later, I pray that may we all be rapturable. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's an amazing, amazing one.